guys, this is your girl Wakeji Kamore and welcome to Reflections by Wakeji Kamore. <laughs> I hope that you guys are doing well. I hope that you guys are having a fantastic day, a fantastic morning, a fantastic evening, whatever time it is that you're listening to this. Again, Kama Huja Soma He Chapter. We are in Second Chronicles chapter 29. If you haven't read it, please pause this recording and read the chapter for yourself just so that you can understand what is happening in this chapter. Today we are looking at um, a king called Hezekiah. Hezekiah was a really good king. And he was a son of a very bad king. So you know that you disconnect now, I'll show you guys. Hezekiah was a son of Ahaz. Ahaz was a really bad king. Ahaz was a son of Jotham. Jotham was a good king, even if he didn't impact God to worship the Lord. But he himself worshipped the Lord. Alright, so Hezekiah was 25 years old when he became king. And he reigned in Jerusalem for 29 years and he was he did what was pleasing in the Lord's sight, just as his ancestor David had done. One of the things that um, his son, rather his sorry, his father Ahaz had done is that he had actually closed. Like that guy was so bad, he closed down the temple. No more worshiping here. Go and worship kwa ma altars, kwa ma shrines, kwa manini. That is exactly what that guy had done. Ahaz was so bad. He, he really rejected the Lord to a point that he actually now forced people to reject the Lord. Because when you close down the temple, where people are coming to worship the Lord, where people are coming to offer sacrifices, Sasa alafu, what do you want them to do? You're literally just, you know, uh, tying their hands so that they can worship idols. So yes, Ahaz had closed down the temple. So the first month, in the first year of King Hezekiah's reign, he reopened the doors of the temples and repaired them. He summoned the priests, the Levites, to meet him at the courtyard of the temple and he said to them, listen to me, you Levites, purify yourself and purify the temple of the Lord, the God of your ancestors. Remove all the defiled things from the sanctuary and one our ancestors were unfaithful and did what was evil in the sight of the Lord. They abandoned the Lord and his dwelling place. They turned their backs on him. They shut down the doors of the temple's entry room and they snuffed out the lamps. Aki, can you imagine? Those lamps were always supposed to be light, to be lit, to be to be working. <laughs> the lamps were supposed to always be on. What an assumption. They were never supposed to go off. But this guy, this guy called Ahaz, the father of Hezekiah, zimmered those lights, zimmered the lamps, closed the door of the temple and told people, eh, Monda Muka worship na huko. But <laughs> like Hezekiah, because he, in the first months of the first day of his reign, he actually reopened the doors. He asked the Levites to come and purify themselves. And then after they purified themselves, they purified and um, cleansed the temple. And then temple was back and open for reuse. Can you imagine? The temple was rededicated to the Lord. Um, I mean, they gave sacrifices of bulls and they gave sacrifices of rams and sprinkled the blood on the altar. And the and the temple was back to be used, which was really, really good. One of the other things that I learned from this is number one, again, same lesson as, as yesterday is in, the, in that chapter, that it doesn't matter that your background is good or bad, that your family that your family have expectations of you. Because I'm imagining by the time Hezekiah is becoming king and the father was such a bad king, I don't think people had such high expectations of him. Probably people were just like, hmm. It doesn't matter what people expect of you or what opinion people have of you. It doesn't matter your age. You can always at any one specific time choose to be different. You can always choose to be different and to do different than what you saw growing up. You can choose to change the course of your life regardless of your background, regardless of who your father is, regardless of what opinion or what expectations people have of you. Yani, those things don't matter at all. And as we have seen, Hezekiah really just decided, me, I'm going to do things right. It doesn't matter who my father was and what he did. He actually decided to do things right. And then the other thing that I noticed that he made worship the first. Yani, his, he was just like, before I do anything else as a king, before I start doing anything else, I'm going to open the temple. I'm going to have it dedicated. I'm going to have it cleansed probably renovated, renovated here and there and actually just open up worship. This guy's first priority was to make sure that he allows people to access the Lord, that he worships the Lord himself and that he does things the right way. 
So, lesson number one, it doesn't matter where you have. It doesn't matter who you are <laughs> or who your people are. You can choose to be different and you can make the right choice at any time, any time of your life. You can choose to do something different. And then the second thing, make worshiping the Lord a priority. Make the place that you make worshiping, spending time with God a priority. The first priority. It can be the first priority when you wake up during your day. It can be the first priority. Even like even when you're thinking about your day, think about how can I worship God as the first priority, as a priority in my day. Yeah, and I think those are just wonderful lessons to learn. And I really find it very encouraging that you can choose different, regardless of your any regardless of anything. You can choose different. You can choose. You can make a decision to be a better person. You can choose a decision. You can make a decision to, uh, to worship the Lord. You can choose that to do better and to do greater things than what the people behind you or past you or uh, is it behind you or before you, <laughs> the people before you did. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening, guys, and do have yourself a lovely day.